All right, Mike, another big union is taking size tonight to support the United Auto Workers. The Teamsters put the Detroit Three on notice. Members will not pick up or deliver goods to any plant that is on strike. 7 Action News reporter Kimberly Craig has that part of our Team 7 coverage tonight. The Teamster is making it clear that if there is a strike, they will not be crossing any picket line, and they're sending a message to the big three. I just think it's time to share equality with the workforce that allows you to make these billions of dollars of profit. And so if it comes down to it, the International Brotherhood of Teamsters will stand in solidarity with striking members of the UAW. All our members in the Teamsters Union are working, doing their job as they should. Um, but the minute that the UAW calls for a strike, that we will halt. We talked to Kevin Moore, who serves as president for Michigan Teamsters Joint Council 43. He's also president of Teamsters Local 299 in Detroit, in the same office Jimmy Hoffa once occupied for the powerful union. He would say, pull them out, do what you have to do. Many of the truckers who haul vehicles and parts for the big three are Teamsters, and if there's a strike, they will stop taking vehicles from the lots of any striking plant. If there's a primary picket line put up at a plant or any given plant or all the plants, we will not cross a primary strike line. If they have picketers out there, we're not crossing. In anticipation of a strike, insiders tell Action News that truck haulers have been told to move vehicles out as fast as they can. And that's what they were doing across from the Ford Assembly plant in Flat Rock today. Getting Mustangs out and then moving them off site so they can still be sent to dealerships across the country. Today, Teamsters General President Sean O'Brien issued a statement on contract negotiations between the UAW and the Big Three. O'Brien said Ford, Stellantis and General Motors have a choice to make about the kind of companies they want to become. Do not go down the wrong road. Do not attempt to divide or cast aside dedicated union families who have given their lives to building a resilient American auto industry. His statement ended with a reminder that Teamsters don't cross picket lines. And Kevin Moore said he understands the UAW fighting to eliminate the two-tier system of pay. In my opinion, it's not fair that a brother and sister work side by side and you have such a wage disparity gap. They're standing up and they're trying to get the big three who, during all this global pandemic, they're making record profits. In Detroit, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much.